Good afternoon, everyone. Let's start your Monday evening with a clash with the teams in the middle. These two teams will try to bounce back after losing in their previous assignments. The sitting here in the final stages is very crucial as we go to the playoffs next week. Welcome to the Philo Equal Center here in San Juan. It's the number nine, uh, number nine uh, seeded uh, San Pedro Pablo Escobets and the 11th seed JT Bulacan Taipan. Hello, everybody. My name is Andy Grum alongside Martin Antonio and Angelica Sarmiento will join us later at the side. Magandang gabi sa'yo, Martin. Magandang gabi, Sandy. And uh, ito nga, mga pwestuhan na yung uh, pinagtatalunan natin dito dahil we are on the last week of our elimination round. And you know, both teams are in the playoffs already, but the outcome of this game will have a huge impact on where they will be seated. Nabanggit mo nga, Sandy, uh, San Pedro still has a few more games to play. They are 8-8. Eight and eight. JT Bulacan Taipa naman, they are at 7 and 10. I think this is the last, their last game of the regular season. They can still eke out to that number 10 spot. Baka mas favorable matchup para sa kanila. So, aantabayan na natin how this game will play out. You know, JT Bulacan Taipa was in full force in their last game, but lost to the SGA CSB Blazers. We have the numbers here, Martin. Ganda nga ng laban na to. Dikitan lang, pitpitan hanggang sa dulo. Better field goal shooting para sa SGA Blazers at 42%. Free throw shooting, mas maganda rin para sa Blazers at 72%. They were out-rebounded and the bench was big in this ball game, Outscoring the Bulacan Taipan by 11 points. And you know, they were in full force versus SGA. Jason Ballesteros played, Ichi Altamirano played, and Patrick Ari played in that ball game, uh, uh, Martin. Itong uh, uh, Ari Brothers, madiin to. Mm -hmm. Nakita ko na to sa NCAA. Talagang uh, maaasahan to. But Ichi Altamirano, their ace player when they were still in the collegiate leagues now, trying to eke out a bigger role here in the pros. 11 points, 8 rebounds para kay Ichi, 11 para kay uh, Paeng Ari. Jason Ballesteros naman, 12 points and 6 rebounds. Mula nung binabantayan ko po yan nung nasa kolehiyo kami, ganyan naka-consistent yan. So, antabayan na natin if he could get a little bit more rebounds para mas maraming possessions para sa kanilang kopo. On the other side of the floor, the NKT uh, sniper got their second win via overtime versus the uh, San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Uh, better bench scoring, better rebounding were some of the keys for that win. For NKT. Ang uh, nangyari dito, war of attrition. Sa dulo, oh. hinahabol pa to. You covered this game with Coach <laughs> Mark Dandan. Pitpitan sila sa bandang dulo. Umalagwa pa rito itong San Pedro Escobets. Kaya lang, banderang kapos ang nangyari. Nakikita natin, second chance points. Napakarami ng kanilang ibinigay. And the bench scoring, plus 14 din ang kanilang kalaban. So, antabayan na natin if both teams can uh, revamp and recalibrate para ma-prevent yung pag-score ng mga kalaban nila off the bench. Andoy Estrella, he was hot in that ball game and exploded in the fourth quarter. 13 points, 6 rebounds, 14 assists, 4 steals, but double digits in the fourth quarter. That was Andoy Estrella. Naglaro sa Mapua, naglaro yan sa St. Vincent High School. So, ma ano eh, well-traveled veteran na rin tong mama na to kaysa na isang mga ganyang laro. And Daryl Karangian scored 14 in the first half and exploded in that ball game also and uh, almost perfect from the field, by the way. Yep, 18 points, 5 assists, 60 percent from the field. Napakataas na porsyento yan. Kaya lang in the second half, medyo natakpan na yung ring para sa kanya. Mas na-depensan siya at pinag-give up sa kanya yung bola. Now we go to... Uh, uh, we have the marquee matchup uh, uh, in this ball game, uh, Martin. Patrick Are versus Andoy Estrella. Very good matchup. Paeng Are... Napakatikin na guardsa nito. And the, the way that he initiates that offense, this is their season average. Just 12 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists para kay Paeng. Sa kabila naman, ganun ding tipo. Pero kontra tiyempo, umatake si Andoy Estrella. 14, 3 rebounds at 6 assists. But the size of Andoy Estrella will become a major problem for uh, Are. Oh, definitely. Pero kasi si Paeng Are, sanay dumidepensa ng malalaking guard. At sanay nakikipagbakbakan talaga yan sa mga ligang labas. Oo. Uh -huh. Now we go to uh, the third member. Oh, now we go to Gio Cruz, our venue announcer, Gio. Good evening, PSL fans, and welcome to Phil Oil Echo Oil Center here in San Juan City. This is the 2024 Filipina Super League President's Cup. And it's the second match of for today's ball games. And now it's time to meteor. Super Teams! First from your JT Bulacan Taipan! 
Starting forward number 8, LG Ruma. Also at forward number 27, Jonas Timoyan. At center number 18, Jason Ballesteros. At guard number 13, Ichi Altamirano. Also at guard number 0, Michael Are. Head coach, Martin Go, assisted by Bong Ramos. Team consultant, Edgar Makaraya. Team manager, JC Tan. Team governor, Joe Bentai. And team owner, Charles Kimpo. And now, here are the starters from your San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Forward number seven, Rich Ginitaran. Also at forward number 11, Clark Derrige. At center number 27, Chris Javier. Starting guard number 18, Andoy Estrella. Also on guard number 5, Marlon Bote. Head coach, Nel Parado. Assisted by EJ DeBesa, Pat Casaniera, Kevin Parado, Jun Lochenko, Philip Salonga, Anthony Battaglia. Team manager, Serafin Matias Jr. and team owners, James Mark Moliari and Pau Ovidio. Our game officials, Arnolfo Bormeo. The starters for Bulacan, uh, Michael Ari, Eche Altamirano, Jason Ballesteros, Jonas Tebay, and Kenji Roman. San Pedro will start with Andoy Estrella, Marlon Monte, Felix Apreco, uh, Guinitaran, and Diringue. Alamo, Sandy, natutuwa ako rito kay Rich Guinitaran kasi prior, uh, during the pandemic season, na ACL to eh, and nakabalik siya. Mas maganda yung inilalaro ngayon na bigyan ng pagkakataon to uh, really flex his wares a little bit more. The officials, uh, Bermejo, Rivera, and Santiago, we are underway here inside the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center as Andoy misses from the outside, picked up by Kenji Roman. Now Altamirano will shop around, finds uh, Michael Ari outside, guarded by Estrella. John Astibayan, Kenji Roman, 4-3. It bounces out, picked up by Michael Are. Shot clock, 10 seconds. We go inside. They're swinging the ball inside to Jason. Can't hit the goal. Bounce pass, Marlon Monte, and he will score. That was a difficult shot by Marlon Monte. Yep, he was right there at the <laughs> cup, using a little bit of nudge and a lot of English to finish that layup. You know, Marlon Monte, I uh, mentioned this to uh, our analyst, uh, Professor Randy Sakdalan, and uh, Mark Dandan. Uh, marami siya minsan attempts eh. Dami, volume, na lang. volume yan. Oh, yung conversion na lang yung kula. Kasi nung nasa PUP to, yan talaga ang laro niyan. Volume scorer, and he gets all the shots that he wants. Rebounded by Derige, and a miss from uh, Jonas Tibayan, Ginitaran. Derige will fire from the outside for three, can't get it to fall. Ari. Now he will go inside. Jason Ballesteros, not a scorer for for uh, JT Bulacan Taipan, but he will provide some spark downstairs like rebounding and hustle play. Oh, definitely. Former NCAA Defensive Player of the Year and uh, Gila standout. Itong si yeah, played G in the 2008 uh, program of Gilas Pilipinas. Yep, exactly. Toroman. Gilas won. Yeah. And uh, Guinitaran uh, scoring there for San Pedro, Pablo Escobets. Four to nothing is the count. What's going on here? As Kenji scores to cut down the lead to only one. That's Sanay na Sanay din to si Kenji Roman to play here in the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. He won a championship here in uh, his high school days. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yep, yep. A handful of years. That was prior to the pandemic. Ang bilis nga, four years na pala. Oh, since hindi 2020. Natin alam, Buti nga, gumanda yung katawan natin pag pandemic eh. Yan. Sarap kumain eh. Sarap kumain. <laughs> A prank of the rebound intercepted by Jonas Tibayan. Into the hands of Altamirano. He swings it to Michael Ari for three. Oh, I love this. Uh, you know, Jason Ballesteros, is, he's in the top five in rebounding. But Felix Apreco is there also, number one in rebounding here uh, in the uh, PSL President's Cup 2024. Let's but take a look at the slow here. In this here. situation, uh, no blocking out, no box out, three people are And just uh, that 50-50 ball na matapik, and Mike Are crashing to the board, converting, and getting an extra free throw. You know, it's very important if you want to win games, get that 50-50 ball. Oh, exactly, exactly. Extra possessions then. 
Andu Estrella threading the needle, rebounded by Altamirano. Quick pass to Michael Are, layup is good. Diyan mo naman maaasahan talaga itong mga guards na galing sa programa niyan, San Sebastian. Pagka umaatake talaga sila, madiin, lalo na pag nakaramdam ng konting bangga, lalo pang ididiin yan. Outside we go. De Riga scores from downtown. And JT Bulacan Taipan in their game versus SGA. You mentioned earlier they just shot 33% mm -hmm. from the field, 21 of 62. A good zip pass, good intention, but the execution wasn't there. And one play dito. Felix. Uh, let's uh, get it done. That will mm -hmm. go to the free throw line. So I think transition basket, Apreku engaging that fast break, extra pass to Ginitaran, end one play, di nga lang nakuha yung free throw. Nine to eight is the count, 6.07 remaining. Altamirano coming off the screen, outside we go for three. And he's been missing miserably from the three-point territory in his last six games. But uh, you got to give credit then dito sa JT Bulacan Taipan. Dahil they are having a concentrated effort of moving that basketball east to west. Kanan papunta sa kaliwa, libre yung mga tira. Hindi nga lang nasusut pa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The head coach of... Uh, uh, the San, pa uh, San Pedro Pablo Escobets, they were defeated by the NKT Sniper. Oh. So, nagkagulo konte yung uh, uh, team standings natin. But RCP Shawarma Shack Demigods defeated the uh, yung uh, game nila nung nakaraan. Mm -hmm. Nanalo din yung uh, RCP. Hindi ka komportable yung makaupo dyan sa biyahe papunta sa ating Sweet 16. Upong sexy lang eh, nagsisiksikan eh. Oo, yung uh, natin. first seven, medyo okay na. Oo. Ang magulo itong uh, middle. Dulo. Yung, yung, uh, yung mga middle teams. Gusto pang sumabit, pabunta sa playoffs. Oh, the put back there by Jonas Tibayan. Oh, no, box out para dito sa, again, sa kuponan ng San Pedro. Jonas Tibayan on the crash board. You know, Jonas Tibayan played also for the Gilas yep, Youth. under 18. And I was, I was really surprised na... Medyo na stunt yung growth ni Jonas Tibayan when it comes to his pro potential. I covered that game in, uh, in uh, Cagayan de Oro mm -hmm. with Joel Escobar. Who uh, sign ito eh? That's Michael Are from the outside. Magkasama sila doon yan eh. Sila ni Luwil. Mm. Yung batch na yun, malakas yung team na yan. I think Evanelli was there. Outside we go, no connection. De Rigi inside. Altamirano. Under five minutes to go in the first quarter. With Martin Antonio, my name is Sandy Grumo. Altamirano outside, and he will not get the kind bounce. Battle for the rebound won by Jason Ballesteros. That's for three and bang! You know the man. Getting an offensive rebound, moving it inside, outside, from east to west, knocking down a triple dito ang... Bulacan, Taipan. And Coach Neil Parada wants to talk things over. They're down here, 16 to 9. We'll be back in a moment. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton. Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. Importante nga ang game nito para sa JT Bulacan Taipan at sa San Pablo Escobets dahil kahit secure na ang kanilang spot sa playoffs, ang pinaglalabanan nila ngayon ay sa magandang team standing and position. This is an... Good na sa characters ng mga players ayon nga kay Coach Egay Makaraya to level up their game and he is pushing his team to 
win this last game para nga naman maganda ang momentum nila papasok ng playoffs. Coach Del Parado happily shared that his Escobets are all healthy and well prepared for the game. He is testing them to give their best for the last two remaining games of the elimination and their aim now is to secure the ninth spot for the playoffs. Talaga namang exciting ang resulta ng game na ito. Back to the game, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Angelica Sarmiento. Ginitaran finds trouble inside, running into a roadblock. Oh, no continuation right there. Ganda ng penetration. Ichi Altamirano, kanina pa parang bowling ball na binabangga lahat. <laughs> Pero napituhan yung kanyang kakampi. Ichi Altamirano is very strong. Oh, he may be small, but he's strong. Look at the body. Pag ganyan karami yung tattoo mo, dapat malakas yung, <laughs> malakas yung makipagbanggaan. Ginitaran will throw it in for the San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Australia with the explosion in his last game versus NKT but lost in that ball game. Good screen. Yun lang. Good. Na uh, na atat gumalaw dito si Clark Dirige. Ang ganda na nung pagkakaset niya ng screen pero initiate pa niya yung contact para maalis yung tao. Okay na sana tumayo na lang siya eh. Eh yung problema kasi pag nakaplusot yung uh, player babanggain mo din eh. Oo kasi Ay, uh, tendency eh. Naiiliga screening tuloy. Kaya ngayon yung mga turo antayin mo na lang magset ka ng Kaya screen sa space. Shoulder to shoulder. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero wala pa rin, mangyayari naka, pa rin naka, yan eh. Nakaka-excite kasi pag oh. nakakuha ka ng ball screen eh. So, Pagagalita ka pag naka, naka ano yung tao mo. Mm -hmm. so, Three-pointer from the corner for JT Bulacan Taipander up by 10 points. Mainit shooting nila dito. Well, they're shooting uh, 40% from the field. 6 of 15 now, ball goes back to JT. Dinudumog on that uh, baseline attack. Tatlong beses na yan na pag papunta sa baseline, Slide show lang sila, tinatanggalan ng space, tas active hands yung mga big guys dito ng JT Bulacan Taipan. A 10-point lead for JT Bulacan Taipan. Soriano in the game. Sir Josef also in the game. Rebounding story. Plus 6 uh, dito, 12 to 6 ang rebounding para dito sa Bulacan na mas marami silang nakukuhang possessions. As we see a uh, fast break here. Marlon Monte misses on the fast break, but he draws the contact. He will go to the line to shoot two free throws. So again, transition, trying to force numbers. Ako po na ng San Pedro dahil uh, dun sila nakakakuha ng advantage. Maalala natin, last game nila NKT, mas marami sila nakuha ang fast break points, especially in the fourth quarter, inside mm -hmm. four minutes. Pero yung uh, NKT lang, parang uh, ano eh, makikita mo yung uh, energy nila in the last, uh, eh nag-graduate nga si Kevin Guray, buti na lang. Uh, Nakapagpundar na. Uh, may na, kahit na cover time, may mga na, sa dulo. Yung, yung, pag, yung inbound lang nila kasi pinipressure sila eh. Oo, oh, nalunod eh. Ang daming turnovers oh, na nakuha kaya from the backcourt. Kaya nakahabol yung uh, exactly. San Pedro. Soriano for three. Uy, pinasok na to. Tweety Santos. First time in the ball game. No, he always starts in the game, but uh, I really don't know why he comes off the bench. Pahiyang. Crossover move by Australia, fouled by Kim Lo. Natin kung kay Kim ba o kay Sarah Josef yung... Okay, kay Kim Kaizen Lo ka. So, uh, Ando Australia still scoreless in the game, averaging 13 points a game, three rebounds and five assists, and... 29 minutes of action. Saka Copy kontrolado his, niya. Uh, playing average mm -hmm. minutes. Kontrolado niya yung kanilang opensa. He is the main point of attack para sa kanila. Foul is on number uh, 40. That's uh, Felix Apreco, his first personal and the third team foul with the San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Maraming nga nagsuswimming dun sa ano eh, sa pag-box out eh. Dami mga kamay na gumagalaw. Coming up next, the uh, our main game tonight, it's the Miss Orr, Miss uh, Mustangs, Awesome Smile versus the Davao Occidental Tigers. Marlon Monte, Felix inside, fouled hard by uh, Seria Josef. So Chester Serra Josef na kuhaan ng pwesto in transition ni Apreco. Dahil yun ang meron to eh. Masipag talaga to run in transition, first big, or just crashing the boards. The only player to be in double figures when in terms of rebounding. He averaged 12 rebounds a game, 2 assists, and 8 points. 
And that is his contribution to the team. 19-13 is the count. Outside we go to Kim for three. Bang! Good look again on that dribble execution. Attacking strong side help. Corner pass. Free three again. If I'm not mistaken, pangatlo o pangapat na nilang three-pointer yan. That will be their fourth oh. from downtown. Four of 11 shooting from beyond the arc here in the first period is JT Bulacan Taipan. A minute and a half to go. Estrella goes inside. Going glass and will score. Kita mo ba yung bagong tasang siko? Pasok na pasok nung pagpihit. Nakapasok na agad yung balikat. May konting pabaon pa dun sa atake. 22-15 is the count now. Serao Sef guarded by Apreco. He goes inside. He misses that one. Picked up by Jomar Santos. <coughs> and is free. Soriano grabs it down for JT. Seventeen of the twenty-four. That's for three. Low misses. De Sawyer with a long rebound and the floater. One of the smaller guys in the floor getting an offensive rebound and using that floater right inside the shaded area. And second chance scoring natin. Ten second chance points. Basically, that's the spread right now. Plus nine dito ang Bulacan sa ating scores. Plus ten naman sila when it comes to second chance points. And uh, syempre, masabi natin, mas marami din sila offensive rebounds. Ando Estrella scoring there on the putback. First two points for him. Yeah, you mentioned earlier the second chance points of JT Bulacan Taipan in their game versus uh, NKT. Uh, uh, 27 uh, uh, second chance points for NKT, only 8 for San Pedro Pablo Escobets. So, yun yung nagiging problema nila. That's the trend. If you're giving up a lot of second chance baskets, basically you would have a hard time because you, you're giving multiple opportunities for your opponents to have a crack at the basket. A much needed rest for this. Uh, Two young gentlemen, Apreco and uh, Estrella. Si Felix, yung lumakad, parang Terminator. De Soyo misses. Soriano misses. So they give me shot. And uh, that will end our first quarter. The second quarter will... Uh, coming up, uh, don't go away. You're watching the PSL President's Cup 2024. 24-17. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. The uh JT Bulacan Taipan calling the shots is a veteran coach uh, Engay Makaraya for former San Sebastian player a former uh, yep. coach of the San Sebastian uh, uh, Golden Stags Golden Stags and even uh, San Sebastian de Cavite Baycats Again, tournament format natin. Single round robin for all teams. Top 16 teams will advance to the Sweet 16. The top 8 seeds 1 to 8 po yan will have a twice-to-beat advantage in the quarterfinals. And in the Elite Eight, the higher seeds na magka-qualify on that uh, Elite Eight will have a twice-to-beat advantage. Semifinals will be best of three, and the finals will be a best of five affair. 24-17 mm -hmm. in favor of JT Bulacan Taipan. So, hindi talaga siya sprint eh, no? Maraton talaga siya eh. <laughs> Pahabaan ng pasensya at saka ng... Uh, Pati bayan ng katawan kasi yung daming laro niyan. Now two on scores! So field goal shooting that in the first quarter. 9 out of 24 for 37%. Ang Bulacan, ang San Pedro naman. 6 out of 18 for 33%. JT uh, Bulacan Taipan went to the free throw line only once back in the first quarter. While at San Pedro, they were shooting 57% from the free throw line, four out of seven. Scheme low committing that foul. Mm -hmm. 
10-point lead for Bulacan. <laughs> Medyo magaan din pala yung coaching uh, tandem ng JT Bulacan Taipan. No? Magaan eh. Egay Makaraya at Bong Ramos. Oh, <laughs> mga legend yun. <laughs> Legendary. Santos for three. Bang! And there you go. Tweety Santos on that stretch three. Interesting ah. Itong si Tweety Santos. Taga Bulacan yan. Oh, bakit hindi panalay, siya na... <laughs> panalay legend yan dun. And San Pedro, two of nine shooting from beyond the arc. Now two on misses outside. Foul is called. Number 10, that's Kim Lo. Well, that'll be his second. Tan Shioko and Jesalem. And uh, Paeng Are in the game for JT Bulacan Taipan. Malalim yung rotation ng guards dito mm. ng Bulacan Taipan. They're not the tallest, but the quality is there and the uh, intensity is there for yeah, these guys. Yeah, problem naman talaga ng uh, JT yung big money. Eh. Oh, kasi si, pag napagod si Jason, Lana. sino papalit? Oh, that's yeah. a big three for uh, Daryl Karangian. So Michael Ari setting up the table. Kusari. Elevator screen. The Salem played for the uh, uh, Sacred Art School, uh, Sacred Art School at the de Cebu. Mm -hmm. Are with three to spare. Sino ba kasabay niya? Sila Viser ba? Or they, after they, na siya nila Viser, no? After na siya. Ball goes out of bounds. Shot clock 20 seconds. Genitara will throw it in for for the San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Outside we go. No connection for Lozada. Ayun na naman. Catch and shoot. Short on the three. Picked up by Kusari. He is fouled by Jomar Santos. So nakikita natin yung tempo, Sandy. Initiate agad ng primary attack. Tapos aaktakihin nila yung wing area. Papahilpin nila yung strong side corner. They hit that guy and ultra green light. Pukol lang oh, ng pukol. For a while, parang ano eh, parang zero basketball. Diretso na tira eh. Oo. Oh. Well, gusto mo rin yun, as we see Kosari making his first free throw. Gusto mo rin yun na, kasi mabibilis yung guardia mo. May advantage. Gusto mo makuha out of balance yung depensa. Kasi nagro-rotate nang nagro-rotate. At pagdating sa dulo, mapapagod. And if you will go back in time, maybe 10 years, uh, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. pag tumira ka ng 3 sa fast break, papagalitan ka. Swerte nga kung papagalitan ka lang. Sa pro, baka i-release oh. ka. Kailangan yung fast break oh, layup. Hard, hard eh, layup. Iba na eh. Exactly. Pag, pa, pag, uh, pag fast break, pag nasa wing ka na or sa corner, bigay na yung bola. Tira mo na. As uh, Jomar Santos misses on the three attempt. 29-23. Under eight minutes to go in the first half. Kusari provides the screen. He kicks it out. Jisalim for three. Bang! Very good read right there. Delaying on the slideshow. Pocket pass. And Kosari jump pass to the corner. Bucket for three. Lozada. Inside we go. Javier. That's Karangian. And rebounded by the shortest and the smallest player on the floor, Rafael Ari. Outside. Tansyoko misfires. Daryl Karangian getting the rebound. Santos with a fake. He shoots from the corner and he throws up an air ball. Kung na-shoot yun, hulog ng langit. Ang taas ng tira, palobong-palobo. Sa Bisaya pa, tagha prasad to. Are, trying to elude his defender, he is fouled. Alam mo itong magkapatid na Are na to. Ang mga bibilis eh. Oh, I've covered their college careers. Talagang, when they have that leverage na maibaba nila yung balikat nila, parang Kevin Johnson, mm. pag nababa yung balikat na atake yung tagiliran mo, medyo mararamdaman mo eh kasi makukunat din yung katawan. Yung, you mean yung uh, Kevin Johnson ng uh, New York, ah, Phoenix Suns? Yeah. Yes. Hindi na, na, di na alam niya yata na eh. Hindi na alam niya yata oh. eh. <laughs> Jamorant na yung mga inabutan nila eh. Mga talon uh, ng talon eh. Mga, yeah, sila Steph. Outside for three! Rebounded by Javier. Yun si Kevin Johnson, 6-3 lang yun. 2-6-1 mm -hmm. lang nga ito, in a guard. No? Mayor pa. Oo, oh, oh, Sacramento. Australia, working against his Salem. Inside to Javier, he gives it back to Apreco. Inside pass broken up. It will stay 
with uh, the San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Ang hirap nung pasahan na yun. Mas masikip pa sa Manila, South Road yung traffic dun eh. <laughs> Parang nasa phone booth eh. Oo, oh, ang sikip. Javier outside. Three to shoot. Now it's two. Now it's one. You know, the, the reason why the shot clock is in front of you so that you can see it. Oh, tsaka yung vantage point yan is you look, pagka nandirito ka sa top of, nakikita mo yung shot clock uh -huh. na yun. Pag nasa baseline ka, kita mo yung kabilang shot clock. Uh -huh. so, Pero wala ka ng excuse. Oo. Uh -huh. Gusto na mas magandang galawin. Eh. Naubusan lang. Naubusan uh -huh. na lang oras. Next play. Unang putukin ng ating 24 dito sa laro. Outside for three. Are! You know... The uh, JT Bulacan Taipan, they are on fire from beyond the arc. That will be their eighth from downtown. Eight of 21 shooting from beyond the arc. And that will be the first for Paeng Are. Back in a moment. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by. Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. Mga ka-PSL, kindergarten pangalan daw ay mahilig na itong si Daryl Karangian maglaro ng basketball at namumuhay ng simple sa Cagayan Valley. Luckily, he was scouted by Coach Toto Duhilio sa palarong pambansa back in 2012 at nadala dito sa Manila. He also shared that he used to dance and still loves to dance until now to relieve stress and being homesick since his family is in the province. We make sure to visit him whenever it is off-season and to regain motivation back to the games. Back to you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Yung mga, yung mga national meet, yung palarong pan oh, pambansa. Oo, dami nare-recruit dyan. Oh, oh. At uh, you talk about dancing, magaling dyan si Martin Antonio. Di <laughs> naman. Medyo lang. <laughs> Medyo lang. O di na kita sa sampulan. Okay na yun sa kwentuhan natin. Pero, alam mo ha, uh, talking about the Ocampo uh, <laughs> College <laughs> and uh, ah. Coach Toto Duhilio. Ako, I've, I've known Coach Toto for uh, a very long time. And karamihan ng players niya, yung mga hindi na recruit ng top schools kasi undersized uh -huh. o ma-overlook, tapos biglang mabibigyan ng pagkakataon uh -huh. na makalaro. Kaya sikat na sikat siya eh. Yan, assistant coach yun dito sa atin, sa Kaloocan. Oh. Good knockout play there. <laughs> Na-experience. <laughs> Na-experience of the inbound play. Good pass by Janos Losada on that baseline cut. Pati Tubi na nayabo ah. <laughs> the three. Yes! Oh! That will be the ninth from downtown. Offensive foul will be called at Andoy. Ang layo, you know? Ni Paeng. Oh, you know, it's not uh, Andoy, but it's Daryl Karangian who committed the uh, the uh, offensive foul, his second personal. The JT Bulacan Taipan shooting well from beyond the arc here. Nine triples already. At kahit sino yung tumitira, ha? Oo. Tsaka ang kagandahan, Sandy, nanggagaling sa flow ng opensa nila. Oh. Galing sa extra pass, galing sa kaliwa, papunta sa kanan, at karamihan ng mga players nakakahawak ng bola. Hindi widow ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi yung look to. <laughs> Maghahawak mo. <laughs> one for, one for me. <laughs> Hindi mga ganung play. Homo is in the game for Daryl Karangian who is shaking his head and going to their bench. Napapailing na lang si Daryl. Wala, wala. Eh. Wala, 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 wala daw, wala. Sanchoco throwing it in. Shot clock at 10 seconds. Are outside to uh, Kusari. There's the extra pass. There's the fine and the look. Rebound, Homo. And he elf rebound Kus Kusari that napuestohan, time. Napuestohan, napuestohan. Kasi nagkakaroon ng girian sa ilalim. Natulak papunta sa ilalim ng board. Itong si uh, Kosari, so he wasn't able to make a play for that ball. So this is huge already, uh, Martino. 38 to 25. We are the midway point of the second period. Two on two break. Now it's a three on three. The layup, that's good. So it's now up to 15 points. Again, transition pace. Controlado ng uh, Bulacan Taipan ngayon yung pace ng ating laro. They're able to run a little bit more. 
Javier is fouled by Pignano. Now sometimes when you score, pagbalik mo na nakakakuha ka agad ng foul eh. Mm-hmm. Is it about uh, the enthusiasm? <laughs> well, yun After kasi. The shot? At saka kung titignan mo yung quality ng mga players, karamihan naman lalaro ng JT Bulacan Taipan. Medyo bagets pa. Mga player to ni Coach Egay Makaraya in season 98 of the NCAA. Mm. Ito si Are, si SLM, mabata pa yan. Si Kosari, naglaro yan kay Coach Egay. Yung mga iba pa niyang gwardiya na nakapila dun sa gilid. Talaga naglaro sa kanya. And yun ang rule nila eh. Pagka may mintis, miss Taka. or make, transition. Oh. Atake tayo agad. Let's force numbers. 40-26 is our score here inside the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center. Beautiful Monday evening here with me is uh, Martin Antonio. Our Corsa reporter is Angelica Sarmiento. My name is Sandy Grumo. Ari is fouled by Homo with the extra motion there, and they will call it. They upgraded it to an unsportsmanlike foul. And for me, Martin, it's a good call. Yep. Kasi, Kasi may whistle na eh. Exactly. Yung uh, contact after the whistle. Tinawagan na yung bump. Kasi mm. kanina pa nagkakagirian itong dalawa. Tinawagan ng bump. Nakatawag na ng foul. Nag-swing pa. Si Homo. Oh, so, Upgradable naman. Eh, oh, tingnan natin kung anong gagawin nila... Coach Jerry Esplano on that uh, on the technical side. Sabi ni referee Bermejo, a veteran crew there. Ayan no, boom. Hindi <laughs> masadong uh, dito sa angulo, yung angulo na hindi masadong ano. Let's look at uh, uh, Paeng Are talking to uh, Homo. Madiin talaga maglaro tong si Are. Eh. And ang karakteristik kasi ng mga guards ng San Sebastian, as far as I've covered them, when they feel contact lalo nilang ididiin to sell that call. Mm-hmm. So, pag nag-react ka ng extra swing, okay, ba- extra, patay ka na. Oh, oh. Tapos, hindi pa sila mga katangkaran. Alam pa na, alam na natin, pag ang vantage point ng mga fouls, oh, usually oh. the smaller guys mas fi- na uh, favor man eh. versus machine na kaagad yun eh. Oo, oh, exactly. So, now the, the officials, they're reviewing of the unsportsmanlike call, but uh, for me, Uh, it was a good call because there Extra was a motion. call. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. there was a call already. We heard the whistle already. The ordinary foul in Homo uh, did not like the call. And the extra motion, pa. Don't see Michael Homo. So uh, Homo continues to talk to the officials. It's, uh, this is from another angle. Ah, ito yung mas, mas klaro. Ayun yung foul. Medyo may kapit pa. So now Bermejo is at the official stable. You know, sometimes the, the referees, no, matagal sila sa review, eh, no? Oo, oh, kasi gusto nila makita ng klarong klaro. Oh, so that's the call. It's not an unsportsmanlike foul. It was a technical foul for the second motion, which was the swinging of the uh, arm, uh, swinging at the arm after the foul was called. So there would be two free throws and then a technical free throw plus I think ball possession dito. Or unahin muna yung technical free throws and then two free throws para live ball if ever mamintes. So si uh, Paeng Are. Siya na yata titira ng lahat. Ano? Mm-hmm. Oh. He, he is very cold here. Uh, the uh, JT Bulacan Taipan, uh, before that miss, they were perfect from the line. Three out of three shooting from the free throw line. And he misses his second. Bitin. Yung una malakas. Yung bitin. Eh, baka mag-airball na yan. Huwag naman sana. Makakuha uh-huh. man lang ng isa. <laughs> Ayun. Kum- mm-hmm. ay, na, ano niya, na-adjust ka agad. Oo. Medyo may kill yan ng konti. Kanan, kaliwa. Ka- mas malakas, mas mahina. Both teams are over the foul limit. 4.23 to go. 41-26 is the count. Ball goes out of bounds. The ball goes back to JT Bulacan Taipan. Good trap. 
on that ball screen action, sh sending it to the big guys, and then the big guy was eating space para mapull back at umatras. Kusari. Kanchioko. Shot clock 10 seconds. Ari. Homo defending. Ari dances for freedom, trying to elude Homo. That's for three. A Preco flying hard to get the rebound. Mahirap yung tira na yun. Oh. Degree of difficulty, 10. At saka may tao pa talaga mm -hmm. sa harap. Ganda ng depensa. Felix goes inside. He gives it to Javier. Javier keeping it alive. He sends it to Ginitaran for three. Very short on the release. And rebounded by Tansioko. Pignano drives. Tansioko overshoots. Javier takes care of it. Foul is called. It's on number four. That's Pignano. And on that rebound, Papunta, Pakrash, Pignano. But uh, multiple opportunities again for JT. Taipan Bulacan. Bulacan Taipan rather. Yeah, JT Bulacan Taipan 7 and 10 in coming into this ball game. They are the uh, number uh, 11th seed here. Well, San Pedro Pablo Escobet's 8 wins and 8 losses in coming into tonight. They are the number 9 team in this game. And coming up the main game, the Missouri Mustangs will take on the Davao Occidental Tigers. The Tigers riding high on that uh, Seven to nothing, our seven uh, game winning, winning streak. And uh, picking at the right moment, mm -hmm. Sakto, papasok tayo ng playoffs. And uh, Sakto, dahil uh, bakbakan yung huling laban nila this week. <laughs> Oo, may binyan pa sila. Mm -hmm. Doon sa binyan, uh, that will be March 14 at the Alonte Sports Arena. At sa Sabado naman, ang uh, Nueva Ecija. Versus the San Juan Kings. Isang magandang laban din yan. Dito ang laro, no? Sabi Dito. Ginitaran met by Hisalem. Marlon Monte back in the game. He gets by Altamirano. Apreco finds trouble. He gives it to Javier. Javier finds trouble with it. Picked up by Michael Are. Altamirano and able to receive a clean pass. It goes out of bounds. Derige back in the game. You know, he's the only player here that that is wearing goggles. This is not for streaming, by the way. Oh, greeted goggles. And Clark Derige was one of the first players that I handled, first mm. collegiate players when he was still with FEU. In, uh, I think that was 2013, I was starting off as a volunteer strength and conditioning coach with Coach Nash. Dung mm. sa team nila. He was part of that uh, training pool. Tas lumipat siya sa UE. Wala pang glasses. Nauna pang nag-glasses sa akin eh. <laughs> <laughs> The three is underway. Got it! Kaya suot. Oh. Kasado? May, may, Sigurado. Asintado. Oh. <laughs> may tulong eh, no? Oo, oh, oh, syempre. <laughs> Vinitaran. Scoring from beyond the arc. Oh. That was Drige, I'm sorry, Drige now with uh, six points. Um, the move inside there by Pedro Soriano. When he first played here, uh, he has a colored hair. Mm -hmm. Palace Cole. Number 18. That's Jason Balisteros. Oh, uh, uh, we, we, we earlier talked about uh, if there is Jason Balisteros inside, Ano gagawin nila? Kasi nga, siya lang pinakamalaking player nila eh. Siya yung parang legitimate center talaga. Yung talaga, legitimate center, 6-8 eh. Oo. Oh. Talaga kahit madalas pupuntahan niya, siya ang legitimate center. Pero ang ginagawa nila ngayon is they put... May committee yata eh. Oo, oh, hindi. Oh. Pagka nakikita nila si Ballesteros na sa loob, nilalagay nila sa ball screen action hmm. para dedepensa siya, aangat, matatakam sa mundo tulad nung nangyari kanina so mafafoul ilalabas siya paglabas panay 6 to 6 3 na naman so mas atakihin nila sa loob Michael Are met by Ando Estrella no Apreco is guarding uh, Jason Balisteros Ay, good Soriano. jump so. Are finds trouble rebounded by Derige a minute 34 to go 
a 10-point lead for JT Bulacan Taipan. Derige lost it momentarily. He picks it up back. The three. Yes, Marlon Monte from downtown. At nasa harapan pa niya yung kamay ni Kenji Roman, pero walang problema. 43 to 36, San Pedro Pablo Escobet showing some signs of life here. Nine to shoot. Soriano for three. Oh, look at that. Altamirano coming out of nowhere to get the offensive rebound. He shoots the three. Apreco rips it off. Ginitaram with the layup. He is fouled by Jason Balesteros. And, uh, yan yung sinasabi oh, Go hard ka lang. Go hard lang. Bisnaki. Bisnaki. Huh? Taga, pagadian to, di ba? Oh, bisnaki. Oh. Boom. Oh, they will count it oh, because... Kasi uh, tinamaan yung ring. So, gumalaw yung board. Let's take a look at it one more time. Good forward pass. Catch. Hard attack. Ayun. Yun. Nagalaw yung board. So, that's an automatic... An easy goaltending call. Kasi you're... Yun yung tinuturo natin sa mga mm. bata na go hard. Huwag kang matakot na tapalan. Oh, Bakit? Supalpal, supalpal. The best shot blocker, yung average niya, dalawa tatlo lang. Mm. Go hard lang. Oh. Di naman niya mas-stop lahat eh. 43-39. 40 seconds to go. Both teams are in the penalty. Jason Balisteros. Are. Working against Australia. He gives it to Altamirano for the layup. And he overcooks. And Soriano will score in heavy traffic. Ang hirap ng finish niya sa ilalim ni Soriano. Para nagdala ka ng sports car sa EDSA. Oo. Oh, Marurot, ang hirap ano? Hirap nun. Tapos kasabay mo mga truck. Hindi, habal-habal. Kasi hindi ka makaano eh. Kasi mas mahing ka sumingit eh. You know, I'm very happy that the word habal-habal is very popular here. It's a... Hindi, mas, ma term. mas madalas lang akong nasa Cebu sa kapagadian. <laughs> kaya na, <laughs> kaya <laughs> mas tanay na ako na isa sa <laughs> Alright, uh, lamang dito ang uh, uh, JT Bulacan Taipan at the end of uh, two quarters of action. Our, uh, our Dumper Super Move of the Game brought to us by Dumper Party List. We go to uh, that uh, move by Piniano. Only two points, by the way, uh, in the first half. Piniano with the drive. And that shot is uh, brought to us by Dumper Party List. Our halftime score, 45 for JT Bulacan Taipan, 39 for the San Pedro Pablo Escobets. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C-Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C-Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. What a way to start the week here at PSL. We are luckily joined by world-renowned MMA fighter, Mark Mugan. So, Mark, can you tell us who are you supporting in this league? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm here to support uh, the Windsor family and the Camarinas Norte team. So, happy to be here and uh, see other competitive athletes. We all know that you have an upcoming game. Now's your chance to invite our viewers to watch your game. Yes, I have an upcoming uh, fight in April 28th uh, here in Manila. So uh, please stay tuned. You can uh, check for more announcements on social media. I can't just announce it yet. I have to wait for the organizers. But uh, you can uh, check out my social media, Mark Mugen, and uh, wait for updates there. Thanks, guys. Mark, now that you're here, we want to take this opportunity for you to go and invite everyone to watch PSL. Yes, all basketball fans and sports fans, guys, please come over and uh, support and watch uh, PSL. It's a great show. Lots of competitive athletes here tonight. Thank you, Mark, and thanks for being here. Happy to be here. Thank you. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C-Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, 
supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. Hey, Hoop fans, welcome to the President's Cup 2024 Top 10 Plays of the Week. Let's dive straight into the action, starting with number 10. At number nine. Inside. Goy will score! And he comes down the lead to one, but it will be a three point play, so a possible uh, a bonus screen throw here. Top eight. Santo. What a play! Gap Cometa slides in! Basket in one! Gap Cometa fighting the points here in the fourth quarter. Making it on seven. Guy can also score! Yes, sir! And that is a four point play for Orlan Lamar. Late close out from Edsel Matsa. Right, that second gets me because I know he will take Sliding into number six. Goes inside for the layup. Basket counts in one. A good recognition by Kenny Nabong off the dive to Bam Bam Gamalinda. Meron as in a mismatch. One shot fake, na kasi tayo ng tatlo to, and yung pagdiretso sabit. Through at number five. It's two, catch and shoot. And oh, yes, yes, Dagger. yes. Dagger, come on, from downtown. And look at uh, Harold Arboleda. That's a three-pointer from Yossi Koga. Cracking into the top four. Whoa, what an escape. Jemais Dagas, been a fan favorite even here in Kalaokan. Podium time at number three. Lamar, inside we go. He hangs in the air, and what a move by Orlan Lamar. Great adjustment in mid-air by Orlan Lamar and his green band-aid on the face. At number two. Shot dropped down to five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How did he make that shot? Ano pa ba hihingiin mo? Great defense played by Kalaokan. Just better offense for Jim Boy. And the top play of the week. Gavera with a slam. Punctuating. This onslaught by the Castle Titans. Si Gravera, so in eh, sa mga slam dunk, ha? Paborito ni Sandy. Yun na nga eh. That's a wrap for our top 10 plays of the week. Stay tuned for more basketball brilliance. And until next time, keep the hoop spirit alive. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List. C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation. Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. We are back here inside the Phil Oil Eco Center here in San Juan with Martin Antonio. My name is Sandy Grumo. JT Bulacan Taipan ahead, 45 against the San Pedro Pablo Escobets. 
Uh, 39, we have some highlights back in the first half. The lead was as big as 15 points para sa JT Bulacan Taipan, but uh, San Pedro Escobets finding a way to make the score closer, especially in the second half of that second quarter. Mas nakakuha sila ng buelo, and a lot of their baskets came in transition just like this. Isa yun sa mga fast break attacks nila with Marlon Monte, and uh, itong si Ginitaran, maganda ang uh, inilaro, nakakuha rin siya ng end one play in transition. Sa kabila naman, with JT Bulacan Taipan, kaya maganda yung kanilang uh, Lamang, outside shooting. Yes, yung three-point shooting nila. Oh, naka Grabe. sampu ba? Sampu, sampu, sampu. 10 of 14. Sampu, oh, more than 60% na ng kanilang production. Halo 70% of their production. No, I'm sorry, it's uh, 9 of 26. Oh, kita mo, pero yung, eh, yung 27 points yan, it's roughly half of their total production. If they were limited to just 6 or just 7 three-pointers, baka iba yung naging storya natin ngayon. Yan po yung mga numeros kanina sa ating... Uh, uh, first half, now we go to our uh, highlights at the mga leading scorer for both teams. Yung sinasabi nga natin kanina, yung three-point shooting ng uh, JT Bulacan Taipan. Uh, Michael Are scoring there. Kanina naman si Paeng Are. Si Salem, may isang uh, tres din yun. Si Marlon Monte. Maganda yung pinakita niya sa first half. Aha, nagamahanap pa nga ng hawi dun sa unang layup niya, pero walang tawag. So, the play continues. Ating ating mga leading scorer pa, Mike Are with 11 points, Errol Soriano with 7, Ann Marcos Are with 5, Paeng Are with 4. Sa kabila naman, Marlon Monte with the 9, Rich Ginitaran with 7, Clark Derigue with 2 3-pointers with 6 points, and Andoy Estrella with 5. Now we are about to start our third quarter with, uh, nakita natin na uh, itong uh, uh, JT Bulacan Taipan, very ready, and coming into the third period, it, uh, ngayon lang ang San Pedro. Ay, palabas pa lang ng tag-out oh, oh, nila. Oo, so, lang. Pero alam, siguro, balik, mm -hmm. ma, may mga... Kailangan mo naman yun eh. Yung mga oh. maanghang ba? Siyempre. Yung mga spicy hindi, words ba? Hindi maganda ang buhay <laughs> kung wala yung anghang. Pero babalikan natin, Sandy. Ah. Kasi kanina, binanggit natin in, in our pregame na itong dalawang kuponan na to nagkakaroon ng problema when it comes to the bench scoring of their opponents and second chance points. Kung babalikan natin, second chance points plus 10 ang JT Bulacan. Taipan. Mm -hmm. And on the bench scoring, plus 22. 22 puntos ang JT Bulacan Taipan contra dito sa San Pedro. At, uh, at uh, alam naman natin na sa larong basketball, importante yung bench scoring. Eh. Uh, ito naman ang problema talaga ng uh, ever since we started the President's Cup. Yan yung problema ng San Pedro Pablo Escobets. After the five, who will deliver mm -hmm. from their bench? So uh, the third quarter just underway. Our main game, by the way, after this game is Orr versus Davao. Jonas Tibayan. Now Dirigue defending Altamirano. Are with the layup, and that's good. Ganda naman yung pagkakagamit ng bahagyang-bahagyang palobo na Kali finger roll. Kaliwa pa yun. Wakali. Oh. Marlon Monte. Ginitaran, Derige, Apreco, and uh, uh, Estrella para sa San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Tatawagan ng foul si Altamirano. By the way, this is the second time that San Pedro will be playing as we take a look at this replay here. The left-handed uh, layup uh, by Michael Are. The San Pedro Pablo Escobets, the second time that they will be playing minus uh, Pari Liagas. Oh, oh, wala si Pari. Saka malaking production niya ibinibigay sa kanila ni Pari. Off the bench. Monte for three. Oh! Ho -ho! Oh, yeah. They will call it a flopping. A warning for faking a foul. Oh, wala pa kasi contact. Bumagsak na. Kailangan talaga timing din yun eh. Uh -huh. Jonas Tibayan gets by Dirige. He will shoot and will score. Nice looking jumper by Jonas Tibayan. Forty-nine to forty-two. Derige outside for three. That's good. Third three-pointer by Clark Derige of a pass by Ando Estrella. You know, Clark Derige now with his third triple of the night. He has nine points. All his points came from the free, uh, the uh, the uh, 
Beyond the three-point line, it's, uh, Altamirano will score there inside. Good speed cut of that post-feed gay Jason Ballesteros. Derige gets by Kenji Roman. He kicks it out to Monte for three-way off. Picked up by Andoy Australia. Very quiet, by the way, in this game. Uh, intercepted by Jason Ballesteros. You know, the uh, San Pedro Pablo Escobet showing some signs of recovery here, down by only six. They were down by as many as 15 points. The three won't work. Rebounded by Dirige. Marlon Monte. Oh, nice feed and the finish there by Felix Apreco. Ne reward yung sipag ni Apreco. Kanina pa talo ng talon. Kuha na kuha na rebound. Ganyan naman tumakbo sa fast break. Binigyan, binusog. And look at that. Uh, Apreco with his first two points of the game. He has eight rebounds and four assists. Altamirano can't see the space. Tibayan for three. Got it! Of a mid-range jumper kanina, Jonas Tibayan. Mas nagkakaroon na ng kumpiyansa. And on that wing area, getting a three-pointer to go down. So they are 10 of 27 from beyond the arc. Outside three-pointer. Rebounded by Apreco. And loses control of it. You know, he out-rebounded Jason Balisteros, who is, what, uh, five inches taller than him. Oh, easily five inches taller. But the grit is there para dito yeah, the kay grit. Felix Apreco. Hindi ako nagkakamali ang pamilya nito, taga Samar eh. Si Felix uh, Apreco. Oh. Pero uh, waray yung waray. salita okay, sila. Okay, ang tapang oh. kumuha ng rebound. Oh. <laughs> Kasi na-interview namin ng airmats nito, ng mga kasport side namin sa NCAA, na ang hilig nito ni Apreco, kumain lang tsaka magbuhat. Nung <laughs> doon sa alay. Ito mo, yeah, tipak-tipak oh, din yung braso eh. Compensating din yun ha. Kain ka lang, tapos buhat. Buhat ka. Basta hindi 6 to 8 na umaga. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit ang problema na 6-8? Tapos na, na, balikan natin yung kwentuhan ninyo kanina. And uh, Ando Estrella scoring there inside. Nice see there. And uh, the score, 54-49. 6-8 pala, no? Kailangan maga or kailangan gabi? Gabi, gabi. Pag gabi, mga... gabi. Noong araw, umaga. Eh, gabi na eh. Oo. Oh. And uh, Altamirano. Down on the floor. Look at this pass by Marlon Monte to uh, Andoy Australia. Bahagyang nasa gilid pa, medyo one-hand catch. A good inbound play. Pangalawa na yan, nakakuha Mga sila sa ilalim. Nakaw ba, nakaw? Mm -hmm. Easy basket, cheap Mga points. nakaw na sandali. Nakaw play. Iba naman niya. Oh, sandali lang, nakuha na niya. Yeah. Na-score ka agad eh. Napakindat lang. Oh, Ando doon na. Ano lang, eye to eye contact lang. Yan. Wala na. Okay, back to the ball game. 54 to 49, 6.05 to go. Altamirano scoring at the free throw line as Jisalem uh, will be back. Now we'll go to Angelica Sarmiento. Angelica. JT Bulacan Taipan is giving playoffs energy. Masaya si Coach Egay makita na naging patient ang mga players at na-execute ang kanilang practice offensively and defensively para sa first half. Dahil yan nga daw ang kanilang goal to get better every after game. Masyadong naging maluwag naman ang depensa. Yan daw naging challenge ng Escobets. Kaya naman kailangan nilang iangat ang defense. Magdagdag ng more pressure sa bola para makabawi sa remaining half. To run and to go hard is their goal. Let's see if Escobets will deliver in bounce back. Sandy and Martin. And that will be the fourth triple for Derige as Jisala will score inside the layup. 57 to 52. It's a five point lead for JT. Two triples already for the Escobets here in the third period. Ginitara outside to Derige. And he is fouled. He is still perfect from beyond the arc. Before that miss, you know why he missed? Because he was bothered by uh, Jonas Tebayan. Well, bothered is an understatement. He was clobbered. Dahil yung talon ng chumalin siya kanya papunta sa katawan ng shooter. So, ayan o, on that closeout, di na nakontrol ni Jonas Tebayan yung kanyang momentum. Oh, that's the law of inertia. Oh, inertia. Alala ko yung teacher ko nung grade school. Pero tinamaan na nga, so... Three, point, uh, three free throws. Oh, parang dito. Uh, pag na-score niya to, eh, ba-ba-ba. Oh, ang ganda ng uh, maganda talaga, bitaw. Maganda talaga bitaw nito ni Derigi at saka very athletic. Volleyball player din kasi to. Uy. 
Volleyball player so, din yan. Pag volleyball player ka ba, automatic ba yan na malakas kang tumalon? Ay, wala kang choice eh. Three kasi, out of three. Kasi talunan no, yun. Tsaka, ano? Araw-araw ka tumatalon, dumudungaw ka saan eh. Kailangan eh, baon mo yung palo. So kailangan mas mataas yung elevation. Look at that. Uh, San Pedro, Pablo Escobets. Kaya pala sila matagal na bumalik dito sa court. This is for the tie. Estrella, short. Monte, short. He gets it back. And suddenly wide open. Pinahirapan yung sarili. Na problema, basta na shoot. Tabla. Oo, tabla tayo. 57. 4 minutes and 45 to go. Saka mas maaga yung habol nila. Oo. Hindi nila gusto pabain yung kanduhan. Mas maganda nga, sinasabi natin sa mga bata na kailangan yung third quarter pag malaki yung laman. Overhauling quarter yun eh. Oo, totoo. Kasi mahirap na sa fourth. Wala nang iba. Rebounded by Felix Apreco. And a chance to take the lead here. So yung report kanina ni uh, Angelica Sarmiento. Oy, sayang yung uh, offensive foul ni Felix Apreco na masaya si Coach Ega during the half mm-hmm. na nai-execute nila yung uh, uh, mga na-practice nila kahapon. Pero nga, sabi nga natin kanina, tagal uh, bumalik nitong San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Ngayon, illegal screen. Gumagalaw pa yung paa. Ayun. We have a timeout. We'll be right back. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. All right, we are inviting you, uh, PSL fans, to come to the venues. Mamimigay po tayo, Jack Ruby and Sheila Manubay Salaysay. Tama ba? Kompleto. Kompleto. Miss Sheila and Mr. Jack Ruby. At yan na. Gusto ko, yung FD natin, gusto tuloy kumain ng popcorn. Hahaha. 4.24 remaining dito sa ating third period. Tabla tayo, 57. Well, uh, napag-usapan natin kanina. Uh, ulitin natin na happy-happy si Coach uh, Egay ng uh, na nangyari kanina sa first half kasi na-execute nga nila. Ito namang uh, San Pedro Pablo Escobets dito sa third period. Outscoring JT Bulacan Taipan. 18 to 12. Maanghang yung simula. Mukhang maraming ang spicy na pabaon. Oo. After that type half time, kasi 18 points in just six minutes. Tas nyan. Outside for three, no connection. Rebounded by Jonas Tibayan. Jonas is free for three. Oh, you cannot leave him wide open. You cannot give him the airspace. Walong puntos sa quarter na to si Jonas Tibayan. Dalawang three-point shot, isang medium-range jumper. At ang mas importante, binigyan ulit niya ng uh, lamang. Derige. Four of five shooting from beyond the arc. He will release it. And that will be his second miss after making four straight from beyond the arc. Are. Corner shot by his Salim for three. And right there, fixing his footwork off the catch. Securing that toe to be outside the three-point line at the corner and knocking down that three. Back-to-back threes for JT. Bulacan Taipan to, uh, to get the lead back here, 63-57. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. MDC is the official basketball of the PSL President's Cup 2024. Three minutes and 15 to go. Jason Balisteros there. Dirige, very active in this game. 15 points, five rebounds, and one assist, and four triples. Jonas Tibayan. 
10 points, four rebounds, and one assist in this game. Felix Apreco, only one field goal, by the way. De Rige, big man defending him. Ginitaran for three. He will try to join the party. Marlon Monte with no room to breathe. He was in heavy traffic. Felix Apreco is fouled. May mga player na gusto. Yung mga nakakuha ng bola, gustong gusto. Felix Apreco, ang daming lamok. Ang daming hampas na tumama. Isa lang yung natawagan. Oops. Ayan o, no, yung uh, hawakan sa loob. Okay lang yan. Kunti oh. lang. Jockeying for position. Oh, De Rige misses inside as uh, Kosare goes to the floor a moment ago. Good hard show there by Felix Apreco mm -hmm. to delay the offense of JT Bulacan Taipan. Inside pass intercepted by Marlon Monte. He passes the three. Ginitaran is wide open. It was an open look for Ginitaran. Could be better. It was early in their shot clock, but uh, again, that's his shot. Takatama na siya ng isa kanina. Paeng, Kosari with a one-handed shot picked up by Ginitaran. Now he will accelerate. He gives it to De Rige for the layup. And De Rige very active here. 17 points already, five rebounds and one assist. About two one. Ari is fouled. And yun yung sinasabi mo kanina, dinidiin eh. Mm, yan naman kasi talaga eh. Johnny Abariyentos, Hector Calma. Maliit Pag eh. nakaramdam ng contact, tapos paatake, lalo nilang ididiin. Kasi makikita eh. Oh, oh. Kasi mas malaki yung uh, nagdidepensa. Parang, uh, for lack of a better word, parang naaawa ka kasi maliit to. Nabibenta mo yung tawag. <laughs> oh. Yan, yun talaga. JT Bulacan uh, Taipan is uh, shooting 23 of 55 from the field here. The three is underway. He hits the back iron. Otua gets it back. Are. This is the screen by Sarah Josef. And the drop pass there by Are to Kenji Roman. Basic the basic, Kenji Roman. Pa boarding, may counting pectus pa off a drop pass by Paeng Are. First two points for Kenji Roman here in the second half. 65 to 59. Jomar Santos from way out, and it's way off the target. So two on. Goes downhill for the layup, and he overcooks. And that's a foul. Sarah Josef will go to the free throw line. That's a bad foul given up by Jomar Santos. Kalampugan ng kalampugan <laughs> dito yung mga player natin. Javier will see action for San Pedro. And uh, let's take a look at the numbers of Sera Josef. Uh, no, oh, yun, uh, ball. <laughs> only one rebound, no points from the field. Pero pag pinapasok, he soaks up minutes pag wala si Jason Ballesteros. Oh, yun defense, ha? Oh. Short. Dalawang short na. Free throw violation pa. No? Oh, over the bucket. Kasi dapat uh, patamain mo muna sa ring. Mm -hmm. Alam, least, mahirap din i-timing yun eh. Ako, di ko na sinusubukan. Ha? Huh? Di ko na sinusubukan. Di ko na sinusubukan pumasok sa laro. <laughs> mahirap din i-timing yun eh. Fast break points here, 13th for San Pedro, only 6 for the Bulacan Taipan. Kaya sila nakakuha rin ng buelo dito, especially in this quarter. Yeah. That's because of Dirig and Marlon Monte. Mm -hmm. Felix. Lozada. Javier for three. He will try to join the party. 20 seconds to go. A fast-paced third quarter, by the way, Martin. Shot clock is not a factor now. 
10 seconds. Uh, this is the screen by Roman. And Michael Are trying to split the defense and it goes out of bounds. Na split naman niya, hindi lang natanganan. Medyo masyadong maanghang yung dribbling niya. <laughs> Napa spicy ano? Oh. 4.8 to go. Homo is back in the game. Outside to Darrow for three. That was a good shot. And after three quarters of action, the, the JT Bulacan Taipan there back on top 65 to 59. This quarter comes to an end. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. All right, uh, the. Uh... San Pedro Pablo Escobets tied the ball game at 57 on and after that uh, deadlock they only scored two points and JT back on top 65 to 59 both teams scoring 20 points back in the third period Martin maganda lang yung simula ng koponan ng San Pedro Escobets maalala natin kanina nabanggit mo Sandy 18 points in 6 minutes kaya lang dalawang puntos na lang after the 4 minute mark Oh, na, na, naka adjust din si coach oh, oh. Uh, uh, Egay, veterano. The last 10 minutes of the game. JT, Bulacan Taipan led by as many as 15 points. Uh, 15 points. The San Pedro Pablo Escobets tying the ball game at 57 all in the third. Rafael for three. So quarter scoring natin dito. 24 to start off ang uh, Bulacan Taipan 21 and 20. Dikit lang sila doon nung uh, nakaraan dalawang quarter pero yung first quarter talaga nakapagpundar ng malaki-laki na lamang. Kung hahanapin mo nga sa stats, saan kaya dito yung 15-point lead ng JT Bulacan Taipan? Oo, oh, yung mid, Kasi, mid kung point. Kasi eh. eh, kung makikita mo doon, tabla-tabla. Mid, mm, mid oh, point kaya naging, tab, eh. kaya naging tabla. Kasi um, after, uh, after leading, eh, humabo naman itong uh, San Pedro. Mm -hmm. Maganda yung run nila towards the latter part of the second quarter and in the third quarter yung simula. Yung 10 minutes span na yun, mm. dun sila nagkaroon ng magandang run. So 30 seconds gone by here in the fourth quarter. Homo is back. Intercepted by Kenji. Ari goes downhill for the two points. That's Paeng Ari. And off the inbound, nag turn over dito ang... Uh, Koponan ng San Pedro. Sabay may offensive foul pa. Ah, Medyo hinabol ng balakang kasi ng screen. <laughs> Alright, Angelica Sarmiento. She has a report. Uh, Angelica. Sobrang laking tulong nga daw ni Coach Egay sa basketball career meeting si Paeng. Dahil nung pandemic ay nawala na siya ng motivation maglaro. Pero hinila daw siya ni Coach Abaste. Sinubok daw nito ang kanyang tapang at patience hanggang sa muhalik ang kanyang fighting spirit. Kaya naman ngayon, kitang-kita naman na talagang pinagbubuti niya ang laro bilang pasalamat kay Coach Egay. Back to you, gentlemen. Alright, thank you very much, uh, Angelica. Uh, alam pa rin dito ang uh, Bulacan. <laughs> All right. Nine oh nine to go. A preku. Daryl misses on the three. I look at the hustle of Paeng Are. Oh, I mean the energy is there. Nakikita natin the whole game consistent na. Talagang nakadiin ng nakadiin dito si Paeng. And uh, yun din, eh, nagta-turn over din siya on the other side. So, sabi nga ni Angelica kanina, malaking tulong yung uh, coach, coach ni Paeng na si uh, Egan Makaraya. No? Kasi yung uh, keys to the engine yan ng uh, San Sebastian, ganyan yung uh, binigay sa kanya the whole time. So flex action on the weak side. Michael. Tansyoko. Kenji Roman is the last one to touch that basketball. 
in the game now is Altamirano. He will replace Paeng. So the volume of guards na nirorotate dito. Oh, yun dito. yung uh, tanong ko sa iyo. Napakadami din ah, totoo. ng guardia. And yung familiarity, nabanggit mo kanina si Coach Egay Macaraya, the familiarity of the guys there in his rotation played for him. Are, Desoyo, Altamirano. Yung, yung quality pa, mataas. Mm. Medyo mga bata pa yan eh. Oo, oh, totoo. Ma graduate sila Desoyo, tsaka si Mike Are, season 99 si Desoyo, 98 si... Are, tapos si Paeng may playing years pa yan, if I'm not mistaken. Under eight minutes to go, Altamirano back in the game, and also Jason Balesteros. Jonas Tibayan. Balesteros, triple handoff. Michael, yo-yo drive, rebounded by Jason, picked up by Andoy Estrella. Andoy throws it up. It will not go in, but he will go to the free throw line. And again, forcing numbers and uh, being in the fast break, they want to initiate that uh, primary attack. Dahil nga dun sila nakakuha ng abante. Again, we go to Angelica Sarmiento. Angelica. Talaga nga namang iba ang atletism nitong si Andoy Estrella. Pinagsabay nga niya ang volleyball at basketball back in his Makua days. At ngayon naman habang naglalaro siya sa Pro League, he do coaching sa clinic sa kanyang hometown sa Cardona Rizal. At pagtapos nga doon ng kanyang basketball career, he plans to continue his physical education teaching. Back to you guys. Oh, he wants to be a teacher by the way. Well, he graduated with an, I think, edukto sa Mapua, Makati, or Manila. Hindi ko sigurado, ah. Pero he spent a lot of years there playing for Coach Atoy Ko. And, uh, ayun ko, inabuta pa ni Andoy si Coach Leo, ah. Hindi ko lang sigurado. Oo, oh, oh. uh, Jason Balesteros with the... With a move inside. Mm -hmm. First two points, by the way, for Jason here in the second half. So, kung inabutan pala niya si Coach Randy Alcantara. Uh -huh. Yan ang inabutan ni Andoy. Kasi inire-recall ko kasi si Alan, naging coach pa niya si Coach Leo eh. Javier will not get the kind bounds. Picked up by Derige. Estrella. Karangian throws up a one shot. A lot of point-blank misses by this uh, San Pedro Escobet squad. Well, San Pedro, they are shooting 33% from the field. That's 19 of 57 in this entire game. And they are shooting 8 of 20 from beyond the arc, while JT Bulacan Taipan, 12 of 33 from beyond the arc. Four triples for uh, Clark Derige as uh, Daryl Karangian misses... His first at the free throw line, Daryl Karangian, three points only. And we all know he is good, what, 15, 10 points? Yep, double digit scorer. And uh, this guy creates a lot of shots for his teammates. Daryl Karangian averaged 11 points a game, four rebounds yep. and four assists. So again, turnover numbers natin dito, plus five forced turnovers dito ang Bulacan Taipan, which really affects their points of turnovers. Australia getting the rebound for San Pedro Pablo Escobets. Andoy going around in circles, blocked by Jason Balesteros. He is number one in rejection here as Altamirano changing his shot in midair. He was able to absorb the contact and uses his left hand to score. Inilipat pa sa kabila. Oh, that's a big three from Andoy Estrella. After getting blocked by Jason Balesteros, he took Jason Balesteros to the corner and scored over Jason. May challenge pa naman. Ang tahaba nung nakataas na kamay. Michael Are gets by Darrell. He is fouled. He will go to the line. So, more free throws coming up. Maganda makita yung numero dito. Ah, na free throw shooting na magkabilang koponan yung disparity nila. So, right here in the fast break. Kanan, nilipat pa. Wakali. Maganda yung reaction dito pagkatapos ng tira. Medyo may konting kindat pa. <laughs> That's one for the highlight reel. Nice move there by uh, Edge Altamirano. So again, free throw shooting dito. The disparity is big. 21 attempts para sa kapuna ng Bulacan Taipan. 10 lang para sa Escobet. Now we go to Angelica. Fun fact lang dito kay Ichi. Alam nyo ba na itong si Ichi ay isang sneakerhead? He happily shared he is wearing a new pair na dahil nga 
importante na maipinalo nila ang game na ito. Naniniwala siya na ma pag maayos ang sapatos, maganda ang kanyang magiging laro. At mukhang ganun na nga ang nangyayari. Ano sa tingin nyo, Sandy and Martin? I don't think that is... Pahiyang. Pahiyang naman niya. Pahiyang niya. If you can't perform, just perform. Yun yung sabi oh, ng coach. Pero <laughs> sinasabi mo, i-ano mo yan, di ba? Pagbago. Pahiyang. I-practice break in, mo. Break in. Break in mo Baka na break in. Baka na break in. I-practice mo yan. Hindi mm -hmm. mo pwedeng gamitin yan sa paglaro. Kagad eh. Pero Jordan, new pair every game eh. Iba yun eh. Jordan yun eh. Oh, si Jordan, <laughs> Jordan yun eh. <laughs> Pero dito lumabo sa... Lumabo na naman yung lamang dito. Kasama Actually, yun sa kontrata niya. Oo, oh, every... every uh, tsaka magkaiba yung size ng magkabi ng paano. 13 and a half, tsaka 13. Ganun ba yan? Oo. Oh, oh. Ball goes out of bounds. So, tignan natin ha. Kasi ang San Pedro always has that uh, finishing kick in their arsenal. We saw it last game. They were down by as much as 12 points in the final four minutes. 12, 15 points. And they were able to force turnovers. Kaya lang, itong Bulacan Taipan, maraming guards. Oh, nice fake. But uh, Ari unable to finish the job. Andoy drives. And he flies without that basketball. Back to the shoes story. Eh kung uh, maganda performance mo, kung hiyang na hiyang ka, eh, why not, di ba? Oo, oh, alam mo, meron akong naging player, tago na lang natin sa pangalan na Terence Romeo. <laughs> Ayaw magpalit ng sapatos nung nasa college. Ah. Kasi sunod-sunod na maganda yung inilalaro niya. I think since his second Ay, year, ano pahiyang, pahiyang diba? oh. Oh, pamahiin nila. And may mga players na ganyan na kahit bugbog na bugbog na yung sapatos. Ay, si Michael game. Jordan niya, yung short na niya, yung UNC, oh. nasa ilalim eh. Kaya baggy short siya. Mm -hmm. May mga ritual din yung mga players exactly. eh. Altamirano, 4.45 to go, guarded by Marlon Monte. Three if it goes in, it does not. Rebound, Ari. He goes, glass and scores! 4.39 to go. It's a 10-point lead for JT Bulacan Taipan. Let's take a look at this offensive rebound by Michael Ari. Oh, that's Rafael. That's Paeng Ari, uh -huh. by the way. Oh, look at that. No box out, put back, two points. We'll be right back. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. We are back here, the uh, San Pedro Pablo Escobets trailing here. We're against the JT Bulacan Taipan, uh, they're down by 10 points, and JT outscoring uh, San Pedro here 10 to 6. And Santa Pedro shooting 33% from the field. That's 20 of 60 from the field here. But they out rebounded uh, uh, JT Bulacan Taipan uh, Martin 42 to 39. Yun yung mabigat. Yung rebounding numbers. Andoy. Now guarding him is Jason Balisteros. Eight seconds to shoot. Andoy goes inside. Early release. Tough shot. Picked up by Jonas Tibayan. Rafael or Paeng Are setting up the table. Jason Balisteros comes outside. Jonas asking for the ball. The solemn catch and shoot will not get the kind bounce. Picked up by Felix Apreco. Monte is blocked by Paeng Are. Ang hirap ng mga shot attempts dito. Ng no, ni, ni, ni Marlon Monte. Oo, oh, ni Monte, ni Estrella. Na pwede na nilang i-extra May mga challenge pass. ba? Oo. Pwede na nilang i-extra pass kasi may nalilibre silang mga kakampi. Ayan o, nakapaklain lang sa loob yung depensa netong koponan ng uh, JT Bulacan Taipan. Derigi very short there and the follow by Marlon Monte. And uh, San Pedro cutting down the lead here, 75 to 67. 
The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. All right, we are back here. Uh, by the way, our uh, third game tonight, it's going to be the Miss Orr Mustangs versus the Davao Occidental Tigers. The uh, Davao Occidental Tigers, they are at the number six spot here, while Miss Orr, it's at the 10th spot in between. Yung Miss Ors ng San Pedro kasi San Pedro number 9. Ang uh, JT Bulacan Taipan is number 11. So sinabi ko nga kanina, no? Kung uh, ay, yung dalawang ko po na nasa playoffs na. Pero ang outcome will have a huge impact on the seeding. Uh, Oo, oh, dahil uh, nanalo ba ang JT over Miss Or? Kasi sila ang, pag natalo Miss Or, sila ang magtatabla. Kasi man, kung mananalo dito ang Bulacan Taipan, tabla sila at 8 and 10. Oo, oh, so, pero maglalaro oh, pa maya yung Miss, Miss Or. Oo, oh, eh, oh, yun nga eh. Oh. So, tignan Dabaw, natin. Tignan natin. Tignan natin kung ano. Uh, Sabi ko nga, uh, itong middle, middle teams dito, medyo magulo. Oo, oh, hindi, hindi pa natin lang sino magkakamatch up. Ito namang lower, eh, medyo nasusolve na ng konti eh. Mm -hmm. Nasusolve na ng konti. Kasi itong RCP nanalo ng... Uh, ang hirap talaga ng ano, no? Calgebra tsaka Calculus. Ang dami mong variable na isipin. Oh. <laughs> sa Friday na ay sa Sabado na natin pag-usapan nyo. So, yun, yun, <laughs> yun, 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 yun. Alright, back to the ball game we go as Jason Balesteros picks up the foul. Yun yung uh, nasabi nga natin throughout the coverage na pag nafa-foul trouble na si Jason Ballesteros, who's the next big guy in? You know, plenty of time to go. It's a nine-point lead only for Bulacan. And Derige goes two out of two. He is perfect from the line. Five out of five shooting and four of six shooting from beyond the arc. Now Michael comes in for JT Bulacan Taipan. Michael added dancing for freedom. He kicks it out. De Salem for three. And Derige takes care of it. And a chance to close the gap. Quick three-pointer. That's good. Andoy scores from downtown. We'll be right back. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. So what seems to be the problem with JT Bulacan Taipan na uh, nakakahabol na naman itong San Pedro Pablo Escobet? A lot of four shots for both teams actually. A lot of clean looks. They need to get their uh, shots in. That's number one. For the most part, yun naman. Pero kasi magand mas maganda yung initiation dito, the past two possessions ng Coponan ng San Pedro. Ito na naman tayo. Dulo na naman sila kumukuha ng buwelo. Ganun ba katagal yung pag-init ng diesel nila? Yung San Pedro, oh. ganun yung uh, ginawa nila sa NKT. Kasi lamang yung NKT, hinabol nila. They send that game to overtime. And lost in the overtime period. It was a hard-earned win by NKT. But they deserve that win, by the way, Martin. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Narinig ko yun, ha? Pakita ka, sabi ni Ataperano mm -hmm. kay Mike. Hindi ka pwede magtago sa bola uh, ngayon. Michael Are. Outside for three. Just Salem will score from downtown. Nice setup play there for for Michael, uh, for uh, Salem. Dahil nung pag-dive ng big guys, sumama yung tao ni Salem. Malayo na yung recovery. They set him up perfectly. 
as Dirige. This is not the right time to miss your three-point shot, by mm -hmm. the way. Andoy will fire again, and he will miss. Dirige is fouled. So three straight misses now for Dirige. So free throws. The yard. free throws coming up then para kay Clark. Yes, because uh, JT Bulacan Taipan, they are now over the foul limit. Dirige is perfect from the free throw line. Five out of five shooting. I don't want to jinx him, but that is the numbers of uh, Derige. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to say this again. Baka 50-50. <laughs> San Pedro oh, down by eight. And he gets the second free throw. 80-73 is the count, San Pedro, with two more fouls to give. Tebayan, Michael Ari will wait for his teammates and he will set up the table. A minute and a half remaining in the balance. There's the fake handoff. Now Michael, uh, that's uh, Altamirano, inside we go. Good recognition there by... Altamirano into the diving Jason Ballesteros. Tsaka ang sikip pa nga nung pasa na yun for Jason Ballesteros. Nonetheless, it was a good catch for Jason as he will go to the free throw line. Jason Ballesteros may not be scoring for the team. He only has four points but he has four rebounds and five assists. Tsaka yung marami siyang naiilang na tira. Oh naman, yung uh, maglilay up sa harap niya. Wala. May nahihirapan. JT Bulacan Taipan, number 11 in our team standings. While San Pedro Pablo Escobets, they are number nine in between them. It's the uh, Miss Orr uh, Mustangs that will play later on, the Davo Occidental Tigers. Two free throws for Andoy Estrella. Andoy Estrella will go to the free throw line. 15 points, 5 rebounds, and uh, 4 assists. Andoy Australia, 4 of 14 shooting from the field, 28% shooting. And 2 of 7 from beyond the arc. 5 uh, of 6 shooting from the free throw line. Eighty-one to seventy-five. A minute thirteen remaining in this game. <laughs> well, that was the last fall to give for San Pedro. Uh, for San Pedro, yes. No, that would be their fourth team mm -hmm. foul. So next foul will put them to the line. Oh, oh. So one timeout remaining dito for uh, San Pedro. Sa kabila naman, merong, wala ng timeout rather, ang uh, Bulacan Taipan. So very interesting final minute. This is a two-possession ball game. Paeng, cross it up. Picked up by Jason. Picked up by Tibayan. Shot clock at four. Ari misfires. Rebounded by Apreku. And the rebound by Michael Are, and that signals a stop to the ball game because uh, Jason is still down uh -oh. on the floor. Now he. Chaka meron siyang cut sa finger, so kailangan siyang isab jan. Natamaan niya ang two hood din eh. Kailangan i check siya kasi may dugu yung kamay niya eh. So, oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, meron mandatory uh -oh. substitution yan dahil kailangan. Sa FIBA rules yung mga may, may sugat. Dugo. Oh, automatic, oh, automatic sub yan eh. But he really did Ramos. Uh -huh. With 34 seconds to go. I think this is... I don't know. <laughs> so, with 25 seconds to go, 
Is this safe to say? Yes. It's safe to say that uh, this is a... This is in the books already. As JT will score a win here. Oh, may you listen to the foul? No, oh, free throw. You know, it's a... Kanina sana, di ba? Oo, oh, kanina. Hindi, kanina pa mong ma-foul dito. Hindi tinawagan ng referee. Nakaapat na hampas. <laughs> Walang tawag, tapos na nabangga ng isa. Yun yung nire-reklamo ngayon ng office ng coaches dito ng San Pedro. Kasi gusto nilang ma-stop yung time. Fumafoul uh -oh. na sila ng early. With 6.9 to go, ta-timeout pa dito ang San Pedro. We'll be right back. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, and Bola.TV, live at IBC 13. So with 6.9 to go, 82 to 75, it is safe to say that it's a one ball game already for uh, the JT Bulacan Taipan uh, Martin, right? Mm -hmm. So for three possessions, 6.9 seconds, no fouls na lang, don't give up a three. If ma shoot, ma shoot. Up next, the, the uh, Miss Or Mustangs will take on the Davo Occidental Tigers, number six versus number 10. Catch and shoot. Oh, that's good. And they will foul uh, Paeng. Oh, ngayon na yung mga ganong fouls sa FIBA na not going for the ball. Means it's not sportsman like yun yung bagong adjustment sa FIBA rules. Recently, I think this was. After the after last season, in 2024, it would be in effect. I'm not sure. Ah. I'm not sure. Because I na, read it on the FIBA website. Eh. That's uh, Paeng Ari at the free throw line, making it sure that uh, the first is good. The second underway. And he will miss. Two seconds. Andoy throws up a prayer. Ooh. So, the uh, JT Bulacan Taipan, they are number 11. Uh, San Pedro Pablo Escovitz, they are number 9. So, ano mga nangyayari kaya? Ano? Sabi ko siya sa Sabado pa natin mapipintahan niya ng buong buo. Pero sa ngayon, ito ang ating... Oh, let's take a look at our dumper super move of the game. That's one for the highlight reel. HL Tamirano with a gorgeous move inside against a taller defender. Super move by Dumper Party List. Our Topcock defensive play of the game brought to us by Topcock. Prepare for battle. The rejection there. So Paeng Are with the left handed shot block against a much taller Marlon Monte, pero walang problema taking care of business defensively. And now we go to the official score 83 for JT Bulacan Taipan. 77 for the San Pedro Pablo Escobets. A good win there by JT Bulacan Taipan. Going back to the win column. And our uh, player of the game, super player of the game, is uh, none other than uh, Paeng uh, Are. Finishing the game with nine points, five rebounds, and five assists. Our Kalos PH super player of the game is with our courtside reporter, Angelica Sarmiento. Angelica. Congratulations, Paeng, for your last game and you guys did well all throughout the game. What do you think of the most challenges for this game? Maybe our defense, we were able to collapse in the third, but we were able to recover in the fourth quarter. We were able to help us as a team. That's our teamwork. Thank you so much. And what else should we be able to do in Bulacan, Taipan, in the playoffs? Uh, siguro yung pagiging competitive namin uh, every game uh, uh, maging ready kami kung sino man kalaban maging kalaban namin and meron ka bang gustong batian or pasalamatan uh, binabati ko uh, si Boss Joben uh, 
yung parents ko, saka yung, yung girlfriend ko, saka yung mga taga San Rafael, binabati ko kayo, mga taga Northern Samar. Ayun, saka maraming salamat sa, sa lahat na sumusuporta sa Bulacan Taipan. Ayun. Thank you so much and congratulations again, pa Paeng, and see you at the playoffs. Back to you, Sandy and Martin. Thank you very much, Angelica Sarmiento. Thank you also to Nori Uy of Nudge Productions, my partner here. Martin Antonio, my name is Andy Grumo from the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center here in San Juan. Mayong gabi, ikanin yung tanan.